Yeah, it feels like deja vu all over again, doesn't it? There were about 24 or so flight cancellations out of LAX today, far more flight delays. Now, is the reason something as simple as human error or something more nefarious? Not again. It started out as a 30 minute delay, grew eventually to two hours. I thought we weren't going to be able to fly today at all. That's what passengers experienced when an FAA computer outage grounded all domestic departures. This kind of system wide ground stop has only happened once before after 9 11. Every pilot relies on NOTAM or notices to air mission to navigate and land safely. It's a very kind of antiquated system. Former commercial pilot Dan Bubb explains why a NOTAM failure meant jets couldn't fly. So, for example, if a runway is closed, if there's construction taking place during, uh, you know, planes taking off and landing on certain runways, any essential information that we need to know at our destination airport is crucial. I'm here for business in Los Angeles, and so there was a delay that impacts me. And so I think it's something um, that we all have to deal with as part of air travel these days. Not so, says Jeff Freeman of the U.S. Travel Association. The system is long overdue for an upgrade, even if air travel is in general safe. Placing a focus on efficiency has simply not been the priority it needs to be at the federal level. We've not provided the resources that the FAA needs. Bob says there's been incremental improvements over the years, but not nearly as much as necessary for the demand for travel. One time, our air traffic controllers are using strips of paper to keep track of all the flights, that's 1950s technology. <laughs> and up until about 2010, that's what they were using. The FAA has yet to determine exactly what went wrong, but says our preliminary work has traced the outage to a damaged database file. At this time, there's no evidence of a cyber attack. A very tired passenger from yeah, Boston is willing to accept to that explanation, but... So it just makes you think how the technical infrastructure behind the air industry in the U.S. is just so behind and so much investment needs to be made. All right, so by now we're all well-versed about the ripple effect when you have flight delays and cancellations. So of the area airports, LAX, Burbank, Santa Ana, Long Beach, we had about 64 flight cancellations and far more, like more than 700 flight delays for all of those airports. Reporting live at LAX, I'm Susan Hirasuna, Fox 11 News.